had some ideas about the uniform. Whatever you want, pal. A superhero is only as super as his outfit. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 worst superhero movie costumes. Pal. Oh. Yeah. Can you take off the mask? Number 10, Daredevil from Daredevil. Kicking off our list is the skin-tight costume worn by Ben Affleck as the blind vigilante lawyer of New York. Retaining the overall look of the comics, this movie traded the equally unfilmable spandex for shiny leather, resulting in a costume that was just as uncomfortable to watch as it was to wear. Daredevil is a ninja, he needs to be nimble, not have an outfit that shrinks when it rains. Number 9, Night Owl 2 from Watchmen. A superhero known in the comics for his technical ability over his strength, the movie decided to put his outfit on equal footing with Batman. In fact, those not familiar with the comics probably thought they were watching a Batman knockoff the entire time. While the original suit was never exactly cool, the hooded look was certainly better and actually bared some resemblance to an owl. What happened to the American dream? Number 8, Punisher from The Punisher. This comic book hero got into the bad guy punishing business after his family was murdered. While he is known for the white skull on the chest, this movie took the liberty of having it be painted on a bulletproof vest. Seems badass and practical, but it comes off as laughable when he goes into gun battles completely sleeveless. Seriously, did this guy not learn after getting shot and stabbed in the shoulder? Number 7, The Thing from The Fantastic Four. You gotta be kidding me. If there was one thing that Fantastic Four fans were not prepared for, it was actor Michael Chiklis coated in latex foam. Then let me explain. No, no, don't touch me! While the actor did a fantastic job, his look just didn't rock as much as everyone thought it would. He simply looked too much like something out of a Saturday morning cartoon. Perhaps the upcoming reboot CGI version will be better? Look at me. You got no idea what I... What I give to be invisible. Number six, Green Lantern from Green Lantern. Ah, oh, Green! I know, right? While the last costume could have benefited from some CGI, this one suffers from going a little bit crazy with it. A CGI sore, this full body suit covered Ryan Reynolds in digital muscles and was so skin tight that we saw his belly button. Hooray for details. Seriously, what's with the suit veins and face mask? Why is your skin green? Why are you glowing? What the hell is with that mask? Number five, The Phantom from The Phantom. Billy Zane stars as the jungle-dwelling hero, one of a long line of men to inhabit the Phantom persona. Faithful to the comics, he is clad in a purple catsuit, complete with an open-faced headgear and eye mask. Unfortunately, this is a case in which the source material should have been vastly altered. Better go out the way it came in. I have enough trouble trying to pretend you're not real as it is. Number four, Captain America from Captain America. We know what you're thinking. Give the guy a break. He's an American symbol wrapped up in a flag. Well, we'll tell you what. We'll cut the Chris Evans costume some slack for updating the look with a distinctly military vibe. However, the 90s version was completely laughable. Taking itself way too seriously, the costume coats the man in layers of rubber, keeps the head wings intact, and even had his ears sticking out. Now I send our tortured souls to rest. Speak for yourself. <clears throat> Number three, Steel from Steel. DC Comics' answer to Iron Man, Shaq portrays the hero directly inspired by Superman. Like Tony Stark, he was once a weapons creator who decided to redeem himself. Sadly, while nothing about this film worked, including Shaq's acting, the biggest letdown was actually the suit, which lacked the S logo, the cape, and rocket boots. Instead, he wore a flimsy looking, medieval role playing looking costume gone horribly wrong, right down to the chainmail. And on behalf of the citizens of Los Angeles, I would like to apologize. Number two, Catwoman from Catwoman. Meowch. This costume has more in common with a burlesque dancer's outfit than anything else. All about the skin, it exposed as much as it could from the toes on her high heels to her cat scratched leather pants, open torso, belt suspenders, leather bra, fetish inspired helmet, and cheesy golden sheen. Hey, at least the movie was great. J just kidding. The movie is unwatchable. Game over. Guess what? It's overtime. <laughs> Number one, Batman from Batman and Robin. 
Taking the top spot on our list is the costume that made a joke out of the Dark Knight. George Clooney's portrayal aside, the Batsuit is meant to be both form and function. This is why it hurts to watch the laughable additions of the codpiece, nipples, ass plates, and credit card accessory. Just check out the silver version with the head grill, and don't even get us started on Robin. Cause how could a slightly more youthful version of Batman's pride suit be any worse, right? <laughs> Good night. Agree with our list? Which movie superhero costume is the biggest joke to you? For more entertaining top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.